Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to Inktober 2016. This is the third video in the series and if you want to see the previous days, you can just check out the playlist or my channel which is in the playlist called Inktober 2016. So just check that out. Right. So, this is day 9 and I did not follow the theme again. I mean because I just found this old sketchbook that I used back in 2011, 2012-ish. And while flipping through it, I really saw some pieces that I wanted to draw again because I felt like they were actually pretty good, but the execution just wasn't really at my skill level to execute uh, the idea wasn't at on par with the idea yet, is what I'm trying to say. So I decided to redo or redraw this piece again just to see if I could properly execute the idea. Which I feel like I did. I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. Uh, the perspective's a little bit off, like on the door, but whatever. It, it turned out pretty well, and I'm happy with it. So the coloring, or yeah, the, the materials that I'm using is a Unipin 0.5 weight fine liner, and the Derwent Ink Dance pencils. Actually, I don't think my materials will change much anymore. I'm just using either the Derwent Ink Dance or the Faber Castle Pit Markers or just plain pen and ink. Like the most I do, I think, would be colored pencils, but eh. Um, yeah, I don't think my materials will change anymore. Since the Derwents and the Faber Castle Pit Markers give me enough color to work with. So as I mentioned, this was something I did in 2011, and I'm now redoing it for 2016. So, stick around for day 10, which will be right after this. Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Tap. Mm, why did I do my intro? <laughs> no, okay, I forgot. Oh jeez. I forgot this the second segment already. Uh, oh, I'm tired. Anyway. Hey guys, welcome back to day 10. Today's theme was supposed to be jump, but I did try to follow it initially. When I got the pose fully sketched out, it didn't really look like a good jump pose. So I edited the foot a bit to make it look like a ground pose instead. And then added the background to make it look like he was meant to be in this pose. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I, I sound tired. I'm, I'm kind of tired today. I did a lot. And a lot of things happened, including Premiere being a total... Poop. Uh, So, I do like the pose though. It, it turned out pretty well even though it wasn't meant to be like this in the first place. And the character on that I'm drawing right now is actually my character in God Eater Rage Burst. God Eater 2 Rage Burst. So he's my blood alpha. And as you know, if you know that game, you, you play as a your avatar basically. I actually forgot his hand when I was lining already, so I just kind of shimmied that in with some black uh, later in the video.
So, I hope you enjoyed this one. Please stay tuned again for day 11, which will be right after this preview thing. Hey guys, welcome back. It's day 11 of October, and I did not follow the theme again. This is becoming a thing. So, the idea for this was that yesterday, last night, uh, I saw a post going around on Facebook on an illustrated guide of uh, to men's suits. So, like, there were drawings of guys in suits. And I guess it was either a guide or how to draw suits and stuff like that. They couldn't understand since it wasn't in English or Tagalog. So, I just had to go through the pictures. And I guess the image just kind of stuck in my mind. So, when I started drawing this morning for October, I when I was sketching it out, I suddenly wanted to draw a guy in a suit. And then it evolved into, oh, let's make this cooler and make it a girl. So that's why the proportions are a bit off. A bit. A little bit. I, I tried to modify it as much as possible, but uh, the proportions will probably be a, little, be a little bit wonky. Other than that, I think it turned out pretty cool. I did get the effect more or less what I wanted. Like this slightly cool but intimidating woman in a suit that's not really fully suited up. Originally, I wanted to do like a city background behind the window, except I got a bit lazy, and I just and I, I was kind of contented with a plainish background, so I just left it as is. I'm using the Derwent Intense Pencils to just add a little bit of color here and there. And it's a pretty simple piece, nothing... I didn't go too crazy on it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stick around for the last segment of this video, which would be day 12. And yeah. Okay, guys, welcome back. It's day 12. This is the final segment for today. And I actually had a tough time trying to figure out what I wanted to draw. So, I tried to do a few thumbnails, checked some poses, checked up some references of what post references I had on my computer and just completely disregarded those because like I suddenly got the idea to do a somewhat close-up shot and to be honest I just went with whatever I just let my hand draw and do its thing and it the character switched from male to female gave them long hair decided I wanted to do a hand that's somewhat frontal view since I rarely do those because I have a hard time trying to get the limb, the fingers right. Added in a scarf to make composition more flowy and stuff like that. This is one of my more I have no plan and I just drew type of drawings. I did check the theme and it was supposed to be worried but I didn't really feel like drawing that as well. I did like how it turned out though. Uh, I, I didn't because I just wanted to keep it somewhat clean. I did notice eventually, however, it kind of looks similar to the Umi Sonada Inktober piece I did a few days ago, which is in, yeah, it, it is in the other video, it's not in this one. Um, but still, <laughs> it's, it's not meant to look similar, but I just defaulted to this pose, I think. next challenge was deciding what kind of background they wanted to do for this piece and I decided originally I was gonna do like a forest or trees or some sort 
but I decided against that and did clouds instead because I really do clouds. I usually do trees and stuff like that, but it's very rare that I actually do clouds. So I went with that. I hope it came through as clouds and not some weird. So stick around, I'll be showing all the pieces right now. So this is day 9, day 10, day 11, and day 12. All of which did not follow the theme. I should get back to that soon. Please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Leventart, like, and or subscribe, and I'll see you around.